So, um, a few weeks ago, I decided to play a game of Russian roulette, but uh, not with the gun. No, I used something much deadlier. I used a penis full of semen shoved inside my vagina, and now I've got the dreaded five minute wait. Yeah, <laughs> five minutes of waiting to see if they were blanks or my frowns. This is so inconvenient to my life. And doing a pregnancy test alone is its just quite an experience, isn't it? I mean, I've all seen those women on the ads. They're like 30-something, slim, well put together, with an obligatory good-looking husband. And she's just there, looking at the test, smiling as the two little lines appear, and then the screen glows with joy. It's all so perfect. It's like, it's perfect. And it's planned. Um, I'm sure there's women out there. I've had that experience, but I'm 29 and I've been doing tests since I was like, what, 15? And let me tell you, not one of them's ever been like that. <laughs> now, well, mind you, I guess a crying, drunk, dishevelled girl that to unravel a banknote from last night's coke sesh to pay for this morning's pregnancy test isn't as wholesome as the women in the ads, so... Uh, I can definitely see why they went in the different direction, but aren't they kind of missing a trick? Like, uh, what if they started selling? I really don't want to be fucking pregnant, kids. You know, it's, it's just like a little box, and inside you have a pregnancy test and then a little bottle of gin. <laughs> Who the fuck am I kidding? A huge bottle of gin. And then the number to your local abortion clinic. And then maybe they could do a, I want to fuck up my ex because he's, he's moved on with some other girl who's actually really dull. So I want to spice up his life, give him a mild anxiety attack kit. And in this one, you get two tests, okay? So one is real, one is fake. The fake one already has the two little lines on, so you can give that one to your ex. And the real one, well, keep that one for yourself. <laughs> Yeah, okay, uh, morally and legally, the last one might be mildly problematic, but you could probably work some it out. It's got legs. <sighs> oh, three minutes. Oh. You know what, I actually hate waiting, and I don't want to be pregnant again. Like last time, got to three months, and I've still got the fucking titty stretch marks to prove it. You know what, people don't really talk about that much, do they? Like, you can abort up to six months, which is great, because I'm pro-choice because I'm not a fucking dickhead, so I'm not bothered about the whole, ooh, abortion thing now. What I'm bothered about is that people don't bother to give you a chat on how pregnancy can fuck your body up. Like, if you're unsure, or you even mention the word abortion, then they're instantly like, oh, <laughs> Not gonna waste my time giving her the lowdown about the fatigue, low blood pressure. Blah, blah, blah. No, like if I'm unsure, then I'm left alone and it's bullshit just because I don't know whether I want to keep this cell cluster off and we hoover it out. Like, it doesn't mean I don't want an educational piece on how just three months of pregnancy can fuck your body up. <sighs> Two minutes. <laughs> That's about as long as he lasted, you know, Mr. Russian Roulette. Well, I'm not being shady either. Like, it was like a fucking flash. <laughs> if he did manage to impregnate me, I'd be almost impressed. Almost. You know what? My main concern isn't actually the abortion. Been there, got the blood-soaked t-shirts. Nah. And it's not the procedure either. They, they just have really shit food. <laughs> You know, like, the food that they give you once they've wiped out your womb, it's, it's just not nice and you have to eat it because your phone's or you have to. It's just a bit grim. <laughs> no caviar and champagne in an abortion clinic, let me tell you that. But yeah, they just kind of force feed you it and you have to eat it because the whole, ooh, fainting, low blood pressure, whatever, you know, faint twice. Yeah, I had to stay <laughs> surrounded by silently crying women, so yeah. <laughs>
Oh, one minute. <laughs> I wonder if I could get uh, Mr. Roulette to pay for me to go private. No. Maybe threaten to tell his wife so he gets me a nice suite somewhere. Nice food, maybe some gin. <laughs> mm. Somewhere where I can have a breakdown in peace, alone. And it will be alone, because he sure as shit won't be there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wonder if I'll ever be like that woman in the ads. You know. With a husband that's hers. And joy. Maybe next time. <laughs>